It's Friday and it's time to talk about a couple of movies. One is about a pilot who finds himself stranded on Earth 65 million years ago. Another involves a former minor league basketball coach who forms meaningful relationships with a team he never expected to be part of. Linda Cook joins us from remote location with reviews of those two films that have some Iowa connections. Linda, this is a perfect weekend to be inside to watch a movie because it's going to be cold out there. It sounds like I can hear it outside and I don't want to go out there. Uh, so here I am. That is a good um, call. The first is 65, right? We're talking about? Exactly. Um, there, we've got an actioner first and that's 65. Now, this is from Scott Beck and Brian Woods, Bettendorf's own, as you say, filmmakers, I guess. And it is a popcorn movie if there ever was one. It's about a pilot played by Adam Driver, and you don't get any better than Adam Driver for action, who finds himself stranded on a planet that he doesn't recognize, and the system navigation can't find him. So he thinks he may be the only survivor that is, until he finds a girl who also is a survivor and who doesn't speak his language. They can't communicate, but they have to work together just to live. Scott and Brian have um, touched on this theme of communication. They both love silent movies and have all their lives. And this movie takes this idea of communication and just how we can communicate despite words to a new level. I like this movie. It's short, it's about 95 minutes long. It is one moment of action after another. And I engage with the characters and there are dinosaurs. What more do you want? I don't know. What do you give it? What's your rating and where can people catch I gave it? I gave it three out of four stars. And this is in theaters only, right? Only in theaters. All right. The other movie we're talking about is called Champions. What can you tell us about that? This also has an Iowa connection. Is that right? It does. Um, actually, it was filmed in Canadian provinces, as I understand it. But the setting is Des Moines. And the idea is that Woody Harrelson, who's kind of a small time minor league coach for the Iowa Stallions, a fictional team, has a little a little scuffle there uh, with another guy and has a couple drinks too many. And wouldn't you know, it doesn't just ram into a car, he rams into a squad car. The judge decides that he needs to be a little nicer to people and a little more aware. So she assigns him to coach the friends team which consists of people with intellectual disabilities and he has absolutely no idea to handle this how to handle this assignment but one by one as he recognizes the players for themselves he begins to become acquainted with who he really is too this is such a fun movie with a fantastic soundtrack from chumbawamba to um the pina colada song and I just loved every minute of it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was touching. And the Iowa essence is there. Uh, I gave this one three out of four stars, and it's rated PG-13. Also in theater, sounds like it's got a good comedic and dramatic uh, balance there to it. It really does. You know, this is Bobby Farrelly of the Farrelly Brothers who gave us There's Something About Mary, Kingpin, and some of those other really edgy comedies. This rating, of course, prevents it from going to that adult. But it, it has an edge and a heart as well. Sounds good, Linda. Thanks so much for your time. And you can always read Linda's reviews in detail online at ourquadcities.com.